Hello everybody, Famine Walker here again, bringing death and destruction to my enemies through the conventional means of war. I am once again playing Empire Total War, and I have moved on from my Corlant Resistance to begin taking Norway, seeing as it's the closest city to my capital next to the uh, city of Copenhagen in Denmark. Um, both are owned by Denmark, so this is me declaring war on the entirety of Denmark. Um, I have two units of Regiment of Horse, I got my General, I got some artillery. I have to place my artillery carefully though because I can, once I place them, these ones you can't move because there's no horse teams to move them. So I'm just going to use them as damage control. I'm going to wipe out buildings that I don't want my enemies getting into. And I'm going to keep them well guarded by uh, some pikemen. I'm going to line up my pikemen right here. I also have a unit of militia which are right here. I'm going to also keep them nearby my general just because it'll make it easier if I do that. Yeah, okay. And then I got four regiments of line infantry, and these guys are going to be my powerhouses. They're going to be the guys that are going to be taking the fight to the enemy. So I'm just going to line them up here just like that. I'm going to put my regiment of horse um, behind them. Um, what I'm doing is I'm basically going to leave my entire my entire flank over here unguarded and it's reasonable because it's got all these steps um, that are going to pre not only pre prevent the enemy from getting up there without um, taking windage meaning they're going to be tired but uh, they're just not going to want to take that terrain fighting uphill because I can just easily move people over so Avoid charging your oh. cavalry on the Okay, let's get rid of you. So, there's my enemy. I've got some... i got his horsemen and whatnot up front. So I'm gonna try to get... Or I can just open fire with my, my cannons and, you know, start screwing people over, I guess. Um, I'm gonna stop my cannons from firing and I'm going to line my pikemen up real quick. Um, I have a feeling he's gonna be gonna be coming right on in with his horsemen. Um, I'm going to keep these guys all stationary over here, just because I don't know where he's going with his troops quite yet. It looks like he's still trying to decide whether or not he's gonna come at me. Um, I'm gonna pike wall. So I'm gonna basically just try to group. Okay, no, you know what? Don't pike wall. Just charge these guys. Pike wall, just charge. I'm gonna try to keep that cavalry off of my my cannons here. Take my cannons. And what are they enraged to hit? They can start hitting all these guys, so I think I'll just have them hit that regiment of horse. infantry are just going to sit, because it looks like he's coming after me. And they're following that same logic, where they're just going to gonna charge, because they have me over on superior numbers. That... Enemy cavalry are charging oh, towards uh, your fire you. Turn! I forgot to turn him off. Looks like he does have his peasants coming my way over here, facing my cannons. So, hopefully that's all the last we see of cavalry for, for a little bit. Coming up on this flank. Oh, I'm gonna readjust my pikemen behind my militia. Move my militia forward. Pikemen, come on. Somebody run. No, you're all tired. So now he's gonna end up hitting my hitting my forces over here. So pretty soon we should start seeing people shooting up on my left flank here. Um, I am gonna hold my cavalry in reserve just a little bit longer. 
militiamen should actually. Yep, they're the first to engage. So I still don't have fire by rank, so it's only going to be the first rank firing. But where I got all my line infantry lined up here, that's not really going to affect much. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to push my horse regiments over here. Get them all. Oh no 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 no! Come on. I'm gonna hit these guys in the flanks. These losing some. These losing some guys over here. But these guys are still shooting pretty good. Uh, I want to take out that pikeman unit as quickly as I can. No, I don't. I want to hit that that unit. Otherwise, I'm gonna start taking friendly fire hits. I already took some here. I had two guys, one guy collapse. Yeah, this side's probably just gonna turn into a big melee. So I'm just gonna charge all my guys in here and just try to melee him out. Again, Sweden, Sweden's decent in their melee. So I'm just gonna try to out melee him. I want these two line infantry units to stop shooting. So I'm going to hit them with cavalry over here, and that's going to knock back their morale because they're they're not going to be able to counter it with their with any rounds because they just shot. Yeah, they're losing guys. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these cavalry units and I'm just going to push them right down the line. So I'm going to slowly have these guys stop shooting. I'm just going to push right across. I'm just going to shock them. got his general coming in now. So that's not not a good thing to do. Here my cavalry is just gonna charge into the back of Denmark's flank. Which is just gonna cause him to rout. Because you know they got their backs turned. Now most of their units are running. These guys back here didn't even see combat yet, but because they're only peasants and everybody else is running, their general's dead, they're just gonna end up running too. So this was just, this was faster than my last one, but, you know, it gave me a better, better starting place than the other one did. And I had a more, a wider range of units to use. So, and thank you all. It, it was quick. So, you know, there'll be a, another one uploaded after this, which might not be as fast because I'll be taking, I'll be taking Den uh, Copenhagen itself next. So there's Norway under white, my control, and I'm going to be taking this unit of just pure linemen into uh, Copenhagen in my next video. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see all of you in my next video.